main roads and Phnom Penh, double lanes both ways. And why are these roads so wide? And Phnom Penh, there's a few of them because, you know, a hundred years ago plus they were once rivers draining the swamps and lakes around Phnom Penh. So they were formerly rivers and streams. So that's why they are so wide. They weren't built like this originally. So gradually they filled the streams and rivers and swamps in and created the wide roads. So this is Monard Boulevard. Now we're in a little side street. This is the beginning of Street 172. The Lone Pine is down there. And we're coming up to the Street 19. And we'll cross Street 19 and get into the best part of Street 172. And this is it here at the start of it. And we're, I'm going to the Sundance Sin to be picked up by my friend. So uh, here it is coming up here. So here it is here. And I'll start my journey from here, the Sundance. Very popular with the Westerners. Thank you. So that's the Sundance pub there. It's got a swimming pool at the back. You only need to buy a meal or a beer to swim all day. Very popular. So we're going to go down 1 Street 172 and into round by the Street 13, round by the uh, Royal Palace and I'll get actually get out and do some filming around there. And then we'll do three of the hostess streets and then we'll do Bassic Lane. So there's something on this video for everyone. There's the Big Easy there, very very popular with Westerners. Also accommodation. So you've got a small mini mart, just like a, a Western style mini mart, selling, you know, Western products. So lots, lots of these three dollar, five dollar massage places all over the place, everywhere. If you want to know more about them, uh, send me a message. We're going to go around to around by the Royal Palace and I'll hop out and do some filming. So we're in Street 178, which has got the the um, Royal Palace Gardens right here. You can't see it because of the dark. Lots of combination, right? It's actually right in the middle of Phnom Penh City. There's another three dollar, five dollar massage place. They are everywhere. Everywhere in Phnom Penh, and we're right, and we're right, you know, actually in the middle of the city, and lots of cheap accommodation and mid-range accommodation around here. And the Street 13 over here, we we'll turn right in Street 113, round to the Water Royal Palace, like we did last time, and I'll actually get out and I turn right, right. I would turn right into the Royal Palace and I'll get up, get out up here and do some videoing of the food stalls and everything around the Royal Palace. So that's the Royal Palace in front. And I'll get out here and do some videoing. So here's the Royal Palace here and it's a Friday night. the 3rd of March 2023. There's some sugar cane here and they'll squash the sugar cane up and take all the extract, all the juice out of it, sugar cane juice. So that's one of the stalls here, so that's sugar cane. And then you got all the, if you want to try some bugs, these are all the bugs here. Yeah, a lot of people will, um, you know, put their 
nose up it, but it's the food of the future. They can grow them in, you know, huge warehouses by the millions, hundreds of millions in a few weeks. And they don't take up huge amounts of farm area and they, you know, live on nothing. That's uh, larvae there. And you've got the frogs and the crickets and the grasshoppers and the crabs so these are all the bugs so eh? so this is really the, the food of the future got the grasshoppers here they grow them in the millions and millions and millions in a few weeks and all they live on all they eat is wet cardboard the same cardboard that eggs are made and come from And then you've got the quail eggs here. Quail, you know, they breed them by, you know, the quails, you know, they take a very little room. And the small grasshoppers there. And grasshoppers, small shrimp, they grow in concrete ponds. And then you've got the beetles. No, not the, <laughs> not Ringo, Paul, George and John. <laughs> the original beetles. Uh, they grow them by the millions and they only take up a little small area and then you've got the quails here and then you've got the frogs I'm not taken from the wild these ones are just growing in huge warehouses so you might turn your nose up at now and think about you're not eating them but they are the food of the future the world population you know expected to reach 10 billion by 2050 it's going to be the food of the future running having giant farms running cattle and sheep and pigs and that is just going to be you know become more expensive and this is going to be the food of the future yeah you may not eat it, but your grandchildren and their grandchildren will be eating this type of food and they, from, you know, 2040, 2050, you know, 2080, 2090. So, uh, yeah, they're just little quails and take up very little room. So you've got the balloon cellars and you've got the real colours lit up at night time and you've got another selection of you know the food of the future I know you're going to say I'll never eat that but your grandchildren and your great great -grand grandchildren will be eating this the food of the future they take up very little room Instead of cutting down the rainforest to, you know, the, the rainforests around the world have been cut down at an alarming rate just to grow crops and soya beans and cattle. You know, if you want to save the rainforest, then this is the food of the future. And so, you know, if you want to say help save the rainforest, then you know, become a vegetarian or start eating these you also get the you know western ice creams and shakes and different flavors and this is all at the outside the Royal Palace and the Royal Palace Gardens are over there So the Royal Palace and all its glory, absolutely fabulous building. We're only actually looking at a, you know, probably a twentieth of the Royal Palace, you know, just a small, small part of it. It's now open for tourists every day. It was closed during COVID-19, but it's reopened open again. And this is a great place to come, the park area here. And the Mekon River is over there in the distance and 
popcorn. Yeah, and, and you can even get, you know, if you're Western and you like your caramel popcorn and your fairy floss or candy floss, whatever you call it, that's all here. You know, you think you're in, in your, you know, walking around your city at home and Australia, New Zealand, UK, America, Canada, some European country. If you like your fairy floss or candy floss, whatever you want to call it, or your caramel corn, it's all here. So if you're coming to Phnom Penh, Cambodia, this is um, you know, a must come and see at night time. Most people come and see it in the daytime and don't come back at night time. So, beautiful place lit up at night time. So these are all the restaurants along Riverside. Lots of restaurants along here, including the Happy Herb Pizzas and Happy Shakes you can get in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Some new hotels being built along Riverside. Some of the hostels along Riverside, and that's on the corner of Street 178 and Riverside. Riverside walkway is on the other side of the road. And if you're booking these these little three Indian tuk-tuks, three wheel of tuk-tuks, Indian made in India, you know, do a you know, download the Grab app or the Pass app and order them through the company, not coming up to them individually and ask them because they'll be, you know the last for five and ten dollars when the actual fare is only a dollar or a dollar twenty five and order from A to B, B to C, D to E and then it's only a dollar, dollar twenty five each way rather than paying twenty dollars or thirty dollars for the day it's much cheaper order from A to B to B to C to D to E to E to F so that's another hotel here on the corner and start at Riverside I'm the only YouTuber promoting Phnom Penh, Cambodia and Cambodia, you know, seven days a week I produce up to 14 videos a day, YouTube videos and send them overseas and unedited and with no music and no sound and they add their music and their, their language and they put them on their own YouTube channel around the world, so I'm promoting Phnom Penh and Cambodia, right around the whole world. Yeah, you know, I averaged la uh, last month was 11 YouTube videos per day that were sent overseas to my subscribers, and I also get, you know, they're all sponsored. So even this video is sponsored. That this video will be edited and cut down and sent all around the world to other subscribers that add them to their social media site. So it was still on Riverside. And we'll go down street 136. So that's the Lux Hotel over here, which is like um, the Lux Hotel just there, which is like a mid-range hotel if you want to live right on the, or we'll stay right in the middle of the street 136. I'll only do one pass down Street 136, so I won't video, you know, all the bars. There's just too many of them. As you can see it's pretty lively on a on a um, on a Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. I I don't. You know, prefer not to videotape the hostesses close up. I just show you what the street looks like. 
and, and I just met if you're a single female, a single male, or a group of females, or a group of males, or a married couple, a single couple, a middle-aged, an elderly couple, you know, these hostess bars, you know, cater for everyone, cater for everyone. And, you know, you go and buy the girls a, a girly drink or a lady drink for four dollars and, you know, they'll tell you their life story and they love to hear your life story. So, you know, they cater for everyone, just not male and men, they cater for everyone. Every age group. So we're going back down Street 136 and onto Riverside and then we'll do Street 130 and Street 118 and then we'll go out into Pena Monument and then we'll go down Bassock Lane. Another three dollar, five dollar massage place now, they're everywhere and on hand. We're going to street 130 now, turn into street 130. As I keep on saying before, these hostess bars are not just for men and male, they're for everyone. There are, you know, a couple, middle-aged, young, you know, retired, come and meet these hostesses. They love to talk to you over a drink, buy them a drink, four dollars, and have a beer, and talk to them. And they love to hear, you know, your life story and they will tell you theirs. That's what they're here for. You know, a lot of people just think they're here only here for men, but they're here for everyone. Most of them can speak English or understand English. So don't be afraid to go in if you see them and they want you to come in. Go in and talk to them. Just don't walk past and ignore them. Right. We'll just turn around here and go back down onto Riverside again. But treat them with respect. You know, and if they, you know, talk to you when you're walking past, don't ignore them, just say hello or good evening or thank you, you know, just show them some respect. They're just working girls like, you know, working girls in Australia, New Zealand, the UK, Canada, America, Europe. The only reason they're doing what they're doing now is because there's no welfare system for them. So, you know, this is just a job like any other job. There's no welfare system or social security if you're not working. So, and they enjoy what they do and they don't like abusive or drunk customers abusing them or saying nasty words against them. You know, they don't like that. They like to be treated with respect. So if you're coming here with bad intentions, I prefer you not to come. But if you've got good intentions and treat them like family members, then you're welcome and they will welcome you. Now we're going to Street 118. So this is Street 118 here. So you haven't been to Phnom Penh, Cambodia, or you're thinking about coming to Phnom Penh, Cambodia, it's open, visas available at the airport for $30 a month. 
If you want to know more about Visa, just ask me and I'll tell you everything you want to know. I can tell you all about cheaper combination and mid-range combination, where to stay, what to see, what to do. And I can tell you everything you want to know about Phnom Penh and Cambodia. So lots of Western Mini Mart, Brown Light Smile, and Kiwi Mart. And they all sell, you know, the same type of product you would buy at your Mini Mart back at home in your whatever country you live in, especially Western countries. And they sell a lot of products from the UK, Australia, and New Zealand, including Australian and New Zealand beers, German beers. And there's no taxes or import duties on alcohol or cigarettes, so a can of beer at the local store will be 50 cents or 60 cents. Australian beers, 90 cents. American beers, 90 cents. Most meals include a beer with your meal. Lots of fresh fruit markets everywhere, especially at night time. Get all the exotic Asian fruits you've never seen or heard of before. Really cheap. And if you if you want to retire in Cambodia, $180 US dollars per year. You have to be age 55 or over to get the retirement visa, which is called the ER visa. Very easy to obtain if you're over 55 years old. If you're under 55 years old, you need a work permit. And if you want to know how to get a work permit, I can send you all the details. So all my comments and information below this will, will be below this video. If you want to contact me personally or leave me a message on YouTube, and I'll get back to you. If you want to know anything about retirement or a long stay in Cambodia for 12 months, I can give you all the information you want. Another three dollar, five dollar massage are everywhere. And they're not only for men, they are for couples, so you can lay side by side and have a female or a male individually or you can have forehand which is a forehand massage which is two two females or two males and the couples can lay side by side and get massaged you can have air conditioned rooms yeah. they're on the way to independent monument now If you've never been to Cambodia or you're thinking about coming back to Cambodia, you know, I highly recommend it. And I'll get help you with all the information, whatever you need, about visas, a combination, or a hotel, I can give you all the information you require. Oh, look at the children on the back of the back truck there just hanging on to the roof. We'll go around and depend your monument twice. We'll do a full circle of it twice, two times. Just to show you what it looks like at night time. Down the end, down there, and the, the 
resistance at independent monuments. Most people only see it during the daytime, not many people come there at night time and see it all lit up. They don't realise they've got the colour of fountains here. And you can see people walking around there. So really, really nice. Come and see it at night time. Now to Bassic Lane. We'll go to Bassic Lane now. Now Bassic Lane is, is Bassic Street, which is 308. Street 308, which is Bassic Street. And off Bassic Street runs Bassic Lane, which is a little narrow street. Now there's no hostess bars in Bassic Lane or Bassic Street, just restaurants and entertainment. And uh, not during the daytime, only open you know, from about 5 p.m. at night and close about 4 a.m. in the morning. We're going to have a look at Bassic Lane. It's, it's for all ages, a very, very narrow street what Phnom Penh used to look like way back a hundred years ago uh, but unfortunately the sad part about it is that the modern 21st century is encroaching on Bassic Lane and it's gradually disappearing and I can see by about here 2030 it will be fully developed into hotels and apartments and office towers uh, if you're coming to Phnom Penh, Cambodia, if you want to see the open for all ages, including children, no hostess bars, it is Bassic Lane. And we'll go and see Bassic Lane now. Alright, we're going to turn into Street 308, which is actually Bassic Street, and Bassic Lane runs off Bassic Street. And you'll find it's really, really narrow. And if you've been here before, pre-COVID-19 days, and you'll notice the big difference, a lot of buildings have now gone. And they started building the encroachment of the 21st century. And as, the, as you can see, lots of restaurants and nightclubs here. No hostess bars, so it's open for everyone. And there's Bassic Lane just coming up here. I've had to cut some of Bassic Lane out because of, they're all playing very, very loud music and it won't be permitted on YouTube and it's really hard to hear so I've added some photos at the end of the video to show you what Bassic Lane looks like in photos rather than video because of the, the music is extremely loud. So this is it for the 3rd of March, Friday night, 2023. And I'll be doing some more videos just like this, but going further afield away from Phnom Penh. So I'll do a series of videos going further and further out from Phnom Penh. So this is Mystery Cambodia, signing off from Phnom Penh, Cambodia. And if you like, share and subscribe, and there's more just like this coming up every few days. Um, hope you enjoyed it and leave some comments down below. And the more comments I get, and if you want to see something else I haven't shown you in non well I'll do it for you. Uh, you send me some comments on what you want to see that I haven't shown you in the last two videos about non pen And the two is at night time and I'll show it to you. So this is Mystery Cambodia. Signing off from Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Thank you. Please like, subscribe and share. And there's more like this coming up every few days about Phnom Penh and Cambodia. Thank you and good luck and enjoy yourself and hope to see you here one day. Maybe in retirement. So if you're thinking about retirement and living the good life, really, really cheap. I can help you out with that too. I can got plenty of videos on that. So, if you're 55 or over, retirement is a dream. If you're paying high mortgages and utility bills in New, New Zealand, Australia, UK, America, Canada, or Europe, 
rent your house out for one year, two years and come to live the good life in Cambodia. Retirement visas for over 55 years old are only 180 US dollars per year. And if you're a tourist, you can get up to, thir um, up to 90 days, 90 days at $30 per month or a three month visa for $35 per month. Uh, this is Victory Cambodia signing off from Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Good luck and good night.